this. So today is just a relaxed beach day. I've been chilling in there for like, I don't know, like two, three hours? And I slept in, so it's just been a relaxed day. Um, finishing out my time at Baja Mar before I check into my Airbnb later this evening. But now I'm about to go snorkeling and see what I see. Ooh, I've never been inside of here. Oh, okay, it's a little, it's a lot. Okay, it's not too much colder than the beach, but it's a little chillier for sure. And you can see little things in there. Oh, like a turtle! Oh my god, it's a turtle. Intentionally here another day, but <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, having a blast, having a blast. Can you see a little fire on water? Yeah, I'm trying to, trying to degrade a headache I had from. <laughs> oh, and it's done? Oh, yeah. it's like a show. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, when I was in there, I was like, uh, excuse Wait, me. Wait, what time is it? Excuse it's me, little, sir. It's um, we're just gonna watch so fire. That's, <laughs> so that's even funnier to me that it like just started out of Yeah, oh, and the thing was when oh. yesterday when it started, it was a storm. I was like, yo, like, are y'all seeing what I'm okay, seeing? Okay, that's hilarious. Hello? Where was I? I would have loved to see that. I know. I was like, I was like yo, what is happening what was here? I? Was I sleeping? Probably. <laughs> Portions look really huge at this place. Um, I'm so freaking hungry. So I ordered a Philly chicken steak, fries, corn on the cob, and lemonade. And I just know I'm about to eat. I'm hungry, and the portions look gigantic. And I love that it's like you know a small owned business. But yeah, we're out here today in Nassau. You know, I got my. Do I have enough sunscreen on my whole body? Usually I'd be putting sunscreen on my face and I'd be thinking about my body. I just start doing that more. But anyway, I slept in and now we're about to eat. Hey. The weather is just so beautiful. <laughs> oh, they're flying kites. Ah. Uh, this is beautiful. <laughs> it's like day I don't know how many days I've been here so far but okay for the first week I was at Bahamar like the whole week so I didn't really explore much um, since I was in a pageant now that that is over I have a nice um, I have like five days left to just de-stress just unravel and unwind and I'm super grateful for that because I definitely need it the purpose of this trip I really just wanted to swim and maybe see a couple of historical things but really if I'm at the beach all day bamboo shack on Nassau Street. One of the great things about when you go out to like local spots like the beach I was at is you get really good food recommendations and so uh, somebody that I met at the beach was talking about oh you should go to bamboo shack like it's a real popular spot here with the locals and so I love to eat so as soon as I heard about it I'm like okay I have to go because I've been enjoying like the jerk chicken and fries and like a lot of the seafood. Uh oh Ooh, and hold up is, a, is that a beauty supply store? I might have to head there. But this is like how the outside looks. Like the streets look like this. Yeah, I've been enjoying just uh, really chill days. Nothing necessarily in the itinerary. I think I might see a couple of sites around, but I just came for the food and the water. 
One of the famous dishes here is called conch fritters. It's like super popular. There's like the bamboo burger, cracked chicken. Ooh, this is what I'm getting. Ooh, yeah, this is what I'm getting. Cracked chicken and shrimp, because I love shrimp now. But yeah, as you can see, it's a popular spot. Welcome to the Queen Staircase. I'm getting my hair done today. Super excited. Can you believe yes. it's her mom? It's like Shavina. Oh, like, look at that. So beautiful. Welcome. <laughs> the whole process. Ooh, my hair looks so bouncy. <laughs> Love it, love yes. it, my beauty fam. <laughs> That's what she's saying. That's what mm -hmm. she's saying. for. I'm really loving this. Like what? Hey. <laughs> it's the edges. Look at the edges. Get into it. Yes. Got the bling. What? I'm ready for the summer. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. She hooked me up. Oh, <laughs> Everybody visit Trades of Beauty. Miss Washington. Yes. I love it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I didn't realize how big crap it was. Wait, is that crap? That is crap. Yeah, it's a dark, but I can see your face. What? How do you do it? It's kind of scary. Big old crystal of my favorite color, amethyst. It's a nice little area for family to come or by yourself. You can just come explore the wildlife. I think the last time I've been to an aquarium was like 15 years ago. Some really long time. I love it. Oh, okay. Pompeii Square was named after a slave. On this side, slaves were bought and sold. Wow. Right on this land. Just learned a little bit of history about this area. So the Pompeii Square, this is to commemorate the area where slaves were bought and sold. Pompeii was uh, someone who was enslaved that led a, revol or led a revolt on Exuma Island. So nice to learn a little bit. If you look at the artwork there, you can see. So yeah, now on today's Today's agenda, pretty much, you know, moving slowly, gonna eat shortly, um, visit a museum if it's open, if not, it's cool to just see some outside plaques and learn that way, and then cool off at the beach, it's a pretty, pretty warm day today, so, yeah. This is the Fort Montagu, 
It was built in 1742. There is literally a beautiful beach right there. There's just so many, so many beautiful beaches. Even though like the museums and stuff are closed, like there's nice sites that you can see to put together the street for yourself. So beautiful water, everyone's out. I think the day has is the hottest day that since I've been here, since the sun's actually out out. The other days it was kind of like overcast, so you can really feel the heat. Now I'm like, okay, it's time to get back in the AC. <laughs> So this water makes me just want to jump off of the sidewalk. Well, actually it's not deep enough, but it just looks so yummy. Okay, it says, although not historically proven, it has been told that the Lucayan Indians were the original inhabitants of the islands and resided in these caves. Later in time, it has been suggested that pirates and their bounty found refuge from the lava also hiding in these caves. Ooh. I love a good story. There you go. Today, the caves are occupied by the buffy flower bat commonly known as the fruit bat and indigenous to the Bahama Islands. Looks like I might actually see a bat up close. Join on, come on, come on. Wait, I don't have my glasses, but it appears that there are little, oh, there we go. Oh, so if you can see in the distance, that is a bat. Oh, they're in there. They're just out. I thought that you could only see bats if it was like, well, I guess you wouldn't see it, but I thought bats were only out if it was pitch black, but they're out there playing around, having a good time. It does say enter at your own risk. And now, now that I know that they are out and about, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna enter at my own risk. I just won't enter. <laughs> so here's a little chair you can take photographs in. And then it's right across from some water. Oh God. Oh. Finishing off my beautiful vacation, taking a little swim in the beach. It's my favorite way to end things off before I go to the airport. I just like to, you know, fill the water for the last time. So yeah. Wow, what an amazing time. Like I really, got the vacation and rest and break that I needed like I feel rejuvenated and inspired like I'm just really grateful for this time so peace out Bahamas until next time but remember to take it step by step and day by day